I like the comments that Fazio probably taped all the information to his body in the freezer. His brother obviously doesn't want to help him with anything. He wants the death certificate. Well, why does he want the death certificate? He didn't want to help with his brother. It means he didn't even have any family backup. Daisy doesn't have any authorization for anything. And they're sending money to her GCash. Why, why is it everybody's responsibility to help him out? As many commenters said on John Blaze's show. Why is it anybody's responsibility? Why is it anybody's responsibility to help him out? Why? John Blaze is preaching this and he's preaching that. Why don't you reach into your deep pot of money that you claim you have? And why don't you settle this whole thing and pay, pay his goddamn freezer fees and every damn thing else and don't put the goddamn burden on Daisy? But you think Daisy? Look, Daisy was not his girlfriend. Let's face something. And he put Daisy through a lot of shit when she was staying there with him. Come on, let's talk reality, folks, here. I just I just did a long show, and I didn't want to do another one, but I didn't listen to that last Blaze show, and I just heard it. And, and read the comments on that show, and they're right. The brother wants nothing to do with this. He just wants the death certificate. And after like 30 days or something, you know, the government's going to do their job anyway. The body will be disposed of. They'll be out of the freezer. You know, either way. Why is it everybody's responsibility on here to pay his bills? To pay his bills in his life when he was alive? And to pay his goddamn bills when he's fucking dead? You want the truth? Be told? That's bullshit. Daisy's gonna walk away with whatever she could, and maybe rightfully so. He made her work for peanuts. She was a slave to him. But as I understand, she doesn't have any right. Now, what is about a promissory note, Gilda? Yeah. Now, how does that pertain to this, a promissory note? And Mostly in the hospital. Mostly in the yeah, hospital. Yeah, uh, if you want to release the body, you just go there for the accounting. You want to release the ask, body to go to accounting. You ask for the promissory. So ask this for a promissory is, note that she'll sign. Yeah, they sign that one, the promissory, until they release the body. Until they release the body. And then you can ask for the barangay captain when Michael Fascio were to leave and then you ask some help also. Yeah, you could actually go to barangay captain and they could actually give you help in a barangay for this. This is bullshit. And why is she putting a G cash on there or somebody putting a G cash for her to collect all this money? Why, you think she's not going to run with it? How do we know that? And I'm not putting the pressure on her. How do we know she ain't going to run with the money? Because, you know, the barangay will take care of some stuff you know, Gil is, 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 you know, born and raised here. She's seen people die. Family members. She knows what goes on with this shit. And what is your opinion about this, Gilda, on that? I mean, this whole situation. Who has the right to have his belongings? Who who has the last say on what happens with him? And If Michael Pasha, they have uh, something right thing. In writing. Writing. If DC, they can sell the... All items, what he got. Sell the items, what he's he got. The one, writing. Uh, she is the one to selling it. To she's help. the one to sell it. If he did write something up that says that she's the one to sell all these items. Then, so, after, the, because not only for that uh, hospital problem, they have a problem also for the funeral. The coffin or everything. Funeral, for, coffin, yeah, for everything. expenses. I know what these uh, these is feelings because I tried that one before to helping somebody, so it's not easy. And then it's the big expenses also. Yeah, and why doesn't Big Mount Blaze, Big Fucking Mount Blaze, who claims to have uh, all this money and belongings and property and cattle puncher and whatever the fuck he is, you know, if he gives a shit that much to do a show about it. And praise Daisy and to prompt her to get a GCash number and all this shit. A big supporter of Michael Fazio. Why doesn't he just pay the goddamn bill? Why is he then, preaching then, on his show? Then when you will, uh, will you do for a list for the hospital, if you do for promissory, find for the funeral so the less You look less at your promissory plan for the funeral. For the less expenses. They get uh, not so much for the coffin or something, so 
You don't have to pay much for the coffin. You don't yeah. have to pay. You get a very simple. Better simple. Or if he's going to be, well, there's not going to be a display probably. He's probably going to be cremated. And that's about 60000 right there. They have a cheapest one. They got 50000 for his hospital yeah, fees. It's different for the coffin. It's different for the coffin, yeah. Okay, so we know at least 110,000 pesos to begin with. Sell the goddamn, you know, if she has a right to do it, sell the goddamn rebar bender. Sell the goddamn rebar bender. It's about three grand American. Throw that into pesos. Okay, and let, let John Blaze pay the fucking bill. Why is it in the, in the, in the comment there's a right? And I've heard several comments on Blaze's show. Why is it everybody's responsibility to pay Fazio's bills? He didn't pay his bills in life. He ran away from all his bills in America. Yeah, mostly. He ran away from all his responsibilities. Father, he wanted you to pay his life. Mostly fa foreigner here, living here in Philippines, they don't take, uh, think about the funeral or something. No, they don't. Yeah, because I have a lot of friends also die here. Then that's the problem also. Yeah, they don't t take care of these things and, yeah. you know, prior to their death. I mean, knowing that, hey, you got to do something about it, right? You know, I mean, seriously, why does he just fucking pay it? Why don't Blaze just pay it? Yeah, they've been covered now. You're saying somebody says, I don't comment here. They've been covered now. But why is it everybody's responsibility to pay that? Because the guy was petty all his fucking life. It's your responsibility to pay his medical fees. It's your responsibility to pay his funeral expenses. Why? He didn't want to pay his expenses in life. And now in death, he wants everybody or you expect or people expect you to pay his funeral expenses. Fuck that shit. Nobody's going to pay mine. We got to get a program and we're working on it right now. And what prompted us to do this, we've been thinking about this a long time ago. We just never got around to doing it. But we are signed up for, <clears throat> excuse me, a program on this and then work on a plot for both of us. Not to put the burden on anybody in the family. That's what you do. You be responsible. He begged on his show to have his electric bill paid and everything else and food. He begged for his money. He wasn't getting Social Security. He lived on your fucking donations. So you were obligated to go pay for his life, pay for his big mouth on his fucking show with his lies and tall tales. And now everybody's supposed to be responsible for his fucking bills? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Blaze is skimming. I wouldn't be surprised. Sell the bender. Sell the bender. Sell the bender. And Daisy does not have any rights to anything he has. Sure, she's been over there. She's been pill pillaging through everything he has to find that hidden box of gold or something, whatever. Why, well, you don't think she wasn't doing that? Poor Daisy May. Daisy didn't give a fuck about him other than a mild friendship she didn't give a fuck the guy worked it to the bone even had to work the welder she's got a permanent scar on her leg could have been the same route that she could have taken that Fazio did maybe the infection started from that she was not his girlfriend she has no right to anything he owns she has no right to put a gcash account together to collect money because there has to be accountability there has to be transparency. There has to be transparency. How do you know she ain't walking away with that fucking money? She didn't tell him the truth in the beginning when she started seeing that guy became her fiance. Did she? He had to find out through people on YouTube. You can't trust her totally on this situation. She's going to profit from his death. And some people might say, well, rightfully so. He was controlling her making her work for him why should you support him in life and then have to support him after his death come on man no matter how many bankruptcies i've had no matter how many bankruptcies i had i went back on my feet boots to the ground and i bought homes i resolved my bad credit issues jack get the fuck out of here i resolved my issues jack Boots on the fucking ground, baby. Fuck you. Who's this? The whole crap. Okay, who was that that made that? The whole crime family. Oh, that's real funny. Why the, who the hell should we pay his fucking bills? Did he pay your bills? 
Did he throw you off his channel when you refused to pay membership fees? What good has Michael Fazio done for anybody out there but cause fucking trouble, including trouble for me? What? And get involved in my legal and personal business. Fuck him. Fuck him. I predicted his death. It came true. And may he be in a better place in life somehow, some way. Collecting Gcash for somebody that died? You can do that. You can do that. If you're really sincere about where the money's going to go. Someone just said that it's been paid for already. Okay. All right. Cut the Gcash. Cut the Gcash. It's been paid for over with. She can't claim any of his shit. There are no promissory notes. There's nothing that says that she could touch his belongings, nor anyone else, unless the landlord could turn around and say that maybe he owed money on his lease. Then the landlord could turn around and say, I'm going to sell all this shit. Yeah. They put my t-shirts, right? <laughs> now that's funny. And 69 kilovolts. You're going to graduate to more than 69 kilovolts. Sell the excavator. There you go. That's worth a few bucks, even as it sits. Come on, man. It's taken care. It would have been taken care of already. I mean, shit, yeah. The, the famous bomber, Obama doll and and his computer with all the information on it. All these little headdresses and nonsense and T-shirts. The pot that he bangs on there. An auction, maybe an auction. But nobody has the right to collect on that. Nobody has the right to do an auction. That's the whole problem. It's a mixed bag of legal woes here. Yeah. So, I mean, the landlord could turn around. Probably the landlord should have the right to claim what's on their property. Their property. Michael's dead. Property retains out of lease. Lease is over. Lease is gone. When you expire, so does the lease. It becomes the landlord's property. Let's get this straight. Fuck what Blaze says. Fuck what anybody else says. This is bullshit. Michael didn't care about anybody in life. Why the fuck should you care about him in death? Why? Did he tell you the truth about anything? Did he knock you off his fucking show? If you didn't pay him a fucking peso? If you ended your membership, did he not go on the attack of you? The only thing he cared about his viewers is if they gave him fucking money, then he'd kiss their ass from here to eternity. Even Aloe was a big enemy of fucking Fazio, but then Fazio started kissing Aloe's ass. He kissed anybody's ass that's going to support him. Morally or immorally or financially. He was not a legend. He was a legend in his own fucking mind. Let's get this shit out. This is a lot about Michael Gabrielle says. Everything's got painted yellow. It's an auction item. Who can get the rights to stuff? Can make buku money. If somebody wants to send this stuff, or if somebody locally in the Philippines wants to go there, to whoever could have the legal rights to sell his property, they could auction off his stuff. And believe me, there'll be a lot of YouTubers who would like to have a piece of what they call YouTube history. Right? Vertical lip t-shirts, you name it, the pot, the, even the pot that he pisses in. Anything that was part of his show could be an auction item. But you got to get the rights to do that. Daisy don't have the rights. She was officially not even his girlfriend. She was never his girlfriend. Never, ever. It was his fucking worker. If his loneliness companion, 
There were no written documents that anybody knows about that says her name on it will inherit my belongings or money in the bank. How about his money in the bank? If he has any money in the bank, who's to say he does not? What happens to his money in the bank? These are good questions. Good questions. So, you know, Blaze is talking all this shit. Why didn't you solve the problem, Blaze, Larry Evans? Why didn't you solve that problem? Why did you have to let people go through all this nonsense if you had all the answers? You always have all the answers, don't you, John Blaze? Boasting how wealthy you are, what you own, how better you are than other people, even your fucking grill, your grand poobah grandmaster with the smokehouse on it. You fucking plastic person. You fucking narcissist. That's what you're acting and you're demonstrating by your own demonstration. By your own demonstration. You are a narcissist by your own demonstration. The man with the answers, given the advice, what have you given? What did you pay for if you cared about Fazio that much? He gave me 600 bucks once. To go against you know who. Why didn't you just pay the fees and not people put people through all this turmoil? The hospital, the burial expenses, people who are wondering where to send the money and who has the right to take it and use it. And where this money's gonna go? Where's that GCash money gonna go? With the funds over the amount. Who's gonna take that money? Who's going to profit? There's always going to be somebody. Somebody profiting. Profiting from that Gcash money. You created a monster, John Blaze. And anybody else. Even Gary. Gary, the guy that befriended. Gary, the guy that befriended the Foz. Wants nothing more to do with this, he said on a statement on, on Blaze's show. He just gave out all the information, told you like it is. The brother wants nothing to do with his brother at all. He don't like him. Nobody liked him. The brother just wants his death certificate to collect the $400. To collect the $400 to an existing family member. That's all they give you in the United States. Someone dies, the Social Security gives the family member $400. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. The guy, yeah, he's got the drones, the phones, the bender, the excavator, the computers. They're all worth money. Every bit of it'll do finding someone to buy it, that's true. But his memorabilia and paraphernalia from the great Fazio show, the great pretender, the great bullshit artist, who owned everything in the world and held many hats to many positions in life. But yet he lived in an 11 by 11 foot shack as total proof that he didn't do any of the shit that he ever did. Never owned fucking Cobra GTs and yachts and owned his own barge and captained it all the way up Lake Michigan to whatever. Bull dinky. Bull dinky, bull dinky, bull dinky, bull dinky, bull dinky. Gabriel says everything that Fazio has he got from conning his subs into pain. And you want to memorialize this piece of shit? You want to memorialize this piece of fucking dog crap, poop, diarrhea? Now don't give a damn. The next stop is Vietnam. One, two, three. What are you collecting for? Truthfully, I don't give a damn. I don't care to hell who the hell I am or who the hell he is. Because frankly, I don't give a damn. One, two, three. What are you collecting for? Okay. Remember, the aliens took the Ford Cobra Mustang. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah, my God. People are so full of fucking shit. 
Blaze, shut the fuck up. And Blaze, I'm going to speak for other people to tell you that too. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Keep out of my business. Keep out of everybody's business. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares what you say. And if you cared that much against this great legend, Michael Thomas Fazio, Alpha Male Construction, then you would have paid for the whole thing. I mean, you had $600 loose to help me with a case against somebody else. And I was not even your favorite person. But since you dedicated your life and you're sticking up for the Foz. The Foz. Why didn't you pay it all, Big Mouth? With the Big Bubba? The Big Bubba? Grand Pooh Bar? Grand Pooh Bar? Barbecue? You know, with all the features? Why didn't you pay for it? Why didn't you pay for it? Jesus Christ. Well, somebody could have been storing it there and they just didn't care anymore. Probably was broken. Probably not even his to sell, but who knows? Oh, yeah, the greatness of Fazio, absolutely. You're going to be thinking of him and jealous of him every day. Oh, absolutely. We're all jealous. 83 watching. We're getting a record here on my show. Don't forget to donate. We do have GCash, people. Let's follow in the steps of Michael, Thomas Fazio, and that other creep. 83 strong. You must be enjoying my show. Let's eat back. Let's e-bag on my show. I took over his slot. Nobody likes that. Too fucking bad. Who gets 83 viewers on an average? Lately. I am the show on here. I am the man. I am the show. I am the fucking legend on here. No way else to look at it. All these people trying to make money over somebody's death. All these people trying to make money over somebody's death. You don't give a shit about them in life. Why the hell should you care about them in death? He was a bullshit artist. He was a liar. He was a New York scammer. He scammed everybody. He scammed the bank by taking a loan out on the bank and moved to the Philippines because he had so many goddamn creditors. Had to do with the county in Florida. All the fines from all the junk in his yard that built up and built up and built up. He had fucking traffic fines. He had all kinds of shit going on. He owed people money up the proverbial ass. And like most of these criminals, they just run out of the country to run away from their responsibilities. And you're supposed to pay for his hospital and funeral expenses. Are you fucking out of your monkey ass minds? Are you out of your monkey ass minds? I know, Juarez Jaws. Blaze the fines. What's wrong with the genre? You got that right. Ill of the dead. Well, let me tell you something, guy who says we shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Let me respond. Let me respond. Let me respond to that. When he was alive, he didn't give a fuck about anybody when he was alive. And he used. He used and he abused people. Respect the dead. He's going directly to fucking hell. He had an RSVP already written out in his name by the devil himself. Lord have mercy. Probably not. Lord have mercy. I don't think the Lord is going to have mercy on his soul. Lying, cheating conniving, scamming, tall tale storytelling. Never flew a plane in his fucking life. Cobra GTs, yachts, and he lived in an 11 by 11 foot shack on a piece of leased land in not a very good area, a hall. Lived like a shit king lived in filth, hardly bathed, got a foot infection that basically killed him. He was too stupid and too cheap to go and get medical attention. He killed himself. Nobody else did because he was petty. He wanted to pay. He wanted you, you to pay his way in life. Why is it your responsibility, or mine, or his, or that guy out there, this other guy, 
Why? Why is anybody's responsibility? Why? Why is a good guy? Good guy. To who? To who? Tell me. What good did he do for anyone? He lied. He cheated. He connived. He contacted my tenants. Oh, what he did. Oh, what he did. You don't want to say a prayer for him? Are you out of your monkey ass fucking mind? His poor personal hygiene contributed to his demise. Absolutely. Do you know why? Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because the motherfucker didn't want to spend a fucking peso on anything. He would argue, make argument, what a goddamn trike driver. Remember hearing all his stories about the bank and he's arguing with the bank teller and you didn't do this for me or you're stealing my money. Or he bought a phone somewhere and he argued that something was their fault because he didn't know how to work the goddamn phone. Yelling at everybody. Yelling at everybody. The only gets the shit slapped out of him by Ricky. Which was wrong. Which was wrong. Which was wrong. However... This is what he prompted people to do to him. He challenged people. I dare you to come over here. Well, Ricky came over there and took his dare and he slapped the shit out of him. Ricky got away real easy with this one. We're not saying no on this show. We're not saying Ricky was right. Absolutely not. Jay Jacobs says, yep, Jesus, that's all you do is argue and complain about people in the Philippines. What a hypocrite. No, that's not true. Mm -mm. We present fact on this show. Apparently you're a newbie or just a troll. Anything I talk about on this show has been demonstrated by the very people that we're talking about. Oh, it's easy to talk about me, but that's okay. Right, troll? But that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But if we talk about somebody else that's factual, someone who's not been a credit to the Philippines genre, not at all. Somebody that connived you out of the money of your pockets, of your pockets, to finance his sick life, to buy all these toys and tools and everything he did. We're supposed to pay for that? Really? The guy was a scumbag. Do you understand what a scumbag is? He was a scumbag. Putting a Gcash account in Daisy's name. You think she ain't gonna take advantage of that? Maybe I don't blame her. We're not gonna hold this against Daisy. Maybe we don't blame her. If there's money left over, put it in her pocket. Buy yourself a nice dress, something. Because when you think, when you think about how he used her, and he did, it was his work, it was his yah, yah, yah. It was his worker, and he used her to show people that I'm a real man. He never proved he has a, was a real man, not physiologically, that's for sure, not psychologically. Not by his holdings, not by his demeanor. He didn't know what a real man was, and the fucking guy had fucking boobs. How is he a real man? Yeah, Daisy deserves whatever's left. She does. Sure. Pay the bills. Someone said that they are. Hopefully so. Let the man be released. No matter what you think about him, let him be released and cremated. Okay, who's going to get the ashes? Is she going to get the ashes? Is she going to throw it into... Uh, his famous beachfront property, <laughs> the rocky shoreline that he called the White Sand Beach, 100 yards, whatever, from his 11 by 11 foot storage container. This is all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Praise a man when he's worth being praised, that he's contributed to community somehow in the Philippines. He took advantage. He even went to fucking... What do you call these? Not a soup line, but he, he went to these food bank things meant for the indigenous people of this place that were really poor, taking their food, used your money 
who is stupid enough to donate to him, stupid enough to have a membership with him, stupid enough to believe his tall tales. The guy was an expert in what he did. If he was good at something, he was good at conning people. That's what he did all his life. You want to make a legend out of him? Really? I Am Legend. In fact, it's supposed to be a new episode coming out of I Am Legend. When is that coming out? I got to see that one. I Am Legend. If anybody knows about that, if it's coming out on Netflix or where it's coming out, let me know. I want to I see that one. You can put that on a side note of my show if you want. Yeah, I put on shows. I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. I lay it, I lay it down like Leroy Brown. I lay it down. Sure, I talk about people on my show, but what do I talk about? I talk about what they put on their show, which means they already presented this evidence. They really already presented themselves as to who they are, what they said, what they did, how they lied, how they scammed people. Was I doing something wrong by telling the truth and painting the proper picture, not creating a lithograph of the guy's life, but actually creating hard copy of what he's done to many people? Taking advantage of people? Think about it. Tell us what you really think. I am telling you what I really think. He was a laborer. You're right. He was a laborer. Any jobs he had, and he worked off the books. Why do you think he hasn't had Social Security all this time? Now, a guy who amassed so much as he did, how did he wind up living in an 11 by 11 foot storage container on a 125 square foot lot that he leased that became a graveyard, a junkyard? of toxins and bacteria and ways of getting hurt when that two by f uh, eight, uh, four by eight came sliding into his leg that time and he already had a bad infection as it was and when he double damaged his leg on that four by eight sheet when he fucking fell off a cheap ladder because he didn't want to buy an expensive proper ladder and his ass landed on the teeth of the excavator that was a winner when he was walking in his yard and fell down because everything was fucking termite infested that the wood on the walkway that he made was infested with termites and he fell on his fucking ass. No, just the truth, Alan. Just the truth, my friend. Just the truth. Just the truth. And everybody knows the truth. 79 strong, baby. Everybody knows the truth. But you don't want to catch yourself and be embarrassed. Right? He was no hero of the Philippines genre. He was a liar. He was a con man. He manipulated people. He manipulated Warren to thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars by Warren H. And Warren H was stupid enough to give in. He came up with a phony hotel project. Phony hotel project. And in order to pull this off, he started to dig a foundation just to show that, hey, see, I'm, I really am going to build a hotel. What man in his right mind at the age he was at the time is going to build a hotel even when the lease was going to be expiring in X amount of years on that property where the property owner would have just taken over that property? It would not make any sense. He actually coerced Daisy into signing some papers at some point in the beginning that she probably bailed out of when she seen that the hotel was not going to be built because you have to use the name of a Filipino to start a business. He knew what he was doing. The guy was smart in his own way, but he was stupid in other ways, like his health. He didn't want to take care of it. Now he's dead. Your fault? No. My fault? No. His fault. So shut the fuck up, war, uh, fucking John Blaze. If you cared that much about the Foz, why did you, you know, not let all this shit go on in the first place and said, oh, okay, I'm not going to wait for anybody to come up with this. It's a crapshoot. I'll pay it. I got all this money and I got the big bubba. I got the big bubba grill. You know, the big bubba grill with all the bells and whistles. And I'm buying properties and I got herds of cattle. And I got everything in the world that everybody wants. Why didn't you just pay for it? The good friend you are to Michael Fazio. And just paid for the dang thing, mofo. Why didn't you just pay for it? Why didn't you just pay for it? Why didn't you? Why didn't you just pay for it? Why? So shut your mouth. 
Yeah, Gary did. He's a friend of Fazio, okay? Gary did his part. That's it. Par- Bar- Gary said, that's enough. He just said it on Blaze's show in the comment section. You could look at it. He had a long paragraph or something in there. He did his part. He said, I'm out of this, all this YouTube bullshit. He said, I did what I can. I considered Fazio a good friend of mine for whatever reason. Gary did his part. Let's praise Gary. Gary did it. Gary paid for it. You don't need a Gcash fund. Gary took care of some of that shit. I think he paid the hospital bill. You don't need a Gcash fund. Unless somebody, somebody, somebody is trying to profit. Oh, that doesn't go on on YouTube, does it? No, no, no. Gary paid for the hospital bill, folks, okay? He said it. So why do you need a Gcash? Oh, the funeral. I got a little news for you guys. As my loving partner said on my show earlier, the Baron guy in cases like this will fund somebody's remains. They always do. So what's the Gcash for? Come on, come on, come on. Tell me, what's the Gcash for? To fund like Ricky does? To fund somebody's pocket to buy cell phones for their girlfriends and shit like that. Someone's running away with a pocket of money, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. Gary already paid for his hospital bill. And the Barong guy could take care of the rest. I bet you guys didn't know that, did you? We know that. Gilda has seen come and gone many people, family members, friends, neighbors, who have died, who had situations like this. She knows. And she told you. So what's the purpose of the Gcash? Whose name really is behind that Gcash? We don't know. Is it Daisy? Is it Blaze? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And plus, Fazio, right, Fazio had a real good friend in Florida. Remember that guy? He's rich, very wealthy, and he could have taken care of some of that. Is he aware of Michael's death? I don't know. If anybody knows who he is and how to contact him, maybe they should, because he would have gladly taken care of this situation. I'm 100% sure of it. And they're still advertising the Gcash. It's taken care of. They're still advertising. They're pushing the Gcash. Why? Why? This is like the Why Me Massacre. Why? The profit. Somebody's always going to profit. But like we said earlier, maybe Daisy should profit after putting up with him. Oh, I'm sure she has a sentimental spot for him. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that, actually. All right? She knew he was damn fucking crazy as a fucking... As a fucking bed bug. But I'm sure she had a soft spot for Michael. Let's give her that credit. But she also knows how he used her to work as a slave. As an arm piece. As eye candy. He had her so brainwashed and trained that she knew on cue when he would begin or end the show how they used to end it together. And what was that phrase they'd always say? I forgot, actually. He pushed her to do this shit. Pushed, 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 and shoved. Heminger said, 79 viewers watching, they have spoken. They like what you are saying, Frank. Gabrielle says, Fazio really had no one that cared for him locally. Just his fake online friends. I don't really have anything bad to say about Daisy. I kind of know and got a very good idea what she went through with him. No, she was not as... Girlfriend. No, they weren't. Real man. He don't have any fucking idea what a real man was. A real man don't have fucking woman boobs. A real man would act like a man, not like a fucking coward. Not be a scammer to other people. A real man is going to be real. Boots on the ground. He's going to have a heart. He's going to have compassion. Instead of being a selfish bastard that he was. He wasn't a real man in any respect of that phrase. He wasn't a real man at all. At all. Even his fucking mushroom. Ha! Speaking of mushrooms. By the way, I don't eat mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. He wasn't even endowed physically to be a fucking man. With woman boobs and a tiny mushroom. This is who he was. I can tell you what a real man is, and he wasn't a real man. Just a lying, scamming bastard. That's what he was, a lying, scamming bastard. Fazio used to say, Hemmager says, that he wouldn't meet foreigners in person. 
unless they paid him a lot for his time. He could not even talk to somebody. He could not have one of his viewers that he revered so much. Yeah, revered unless they paid him money. That he would want to charge 50 to 75 bucks for a meeting to somebody. What kind of a screwball is this? What kind of a louse on the skin of society is this man? I've said enough. Jury is out on this guy. Have a good day. And don't forget to donate. I do have a G-Cash.